Hello everyone! As you might have noticed, I've been taking a break from my Japar cosplay. I've been working on some stuff, but it's just not fully finished yet. And with the release of Sparkle, I really wanted to make some of her accessories. So this week I've been working on her mask. It's a fairly simple build, but painting it was the main challenge for me. Let's take a look at how I made this, and I hope you will try making it as well. As always, I started by making a template, which you can find in the description of this video. This is the front view of the mask though, so we will have to slightly adjust it when we make it out of foam, because I want to make it a bit rounded. I started by cutting the template in half and also separating the ear. Then I slightly adjusted the template and cut it out of some thick paper. With some tape you can make a small mock-up of the design you are going to create out of foam later. Remember you can bend paper like foam, so it's not going to be perfect. When you are satisfied, you can start making the base out of foam. I use 5mm EVA foam for this. The bottom of the mask has a slight angle, which we are going to make with an undercut in the back of the foam. Cut a V-shape out of the foam and then hot glue it together into an angle. Using a heat gun, you can bend the piece into a more rounded shape. After that, you can glue the pieces together and we can start working on the ears. The ears are basically the same, but smaller, so we can just make them out of one piece each. So again, I adjust my template a little bit, some more space to the sides and the bottom, so it will fit the round shape we just made. The bottom edge also needs a slight angle, so it will fit better to the base. This can be a bit of a trial and error, so start big and cut or dremel the pieces as you fit it to the base. Remember to also use a heat gun to give it a bit of a rounded shape. Glue it to the face and then the base of the mask is done. You might have noticed the shape of the mask is still a bit weird. By using a heat gun again you can now deform it so it closely resembles the template. Last we can use some quick seal to make a rounded edge where the ears connect to the face. Now you could paint all the details onto the mask, but I think making some of them out of foam will look much better. So I started by making the decoration on the middle of the mask out of 2mm EVA foam. Just trace the pattern and cut it out. For these small details a tiny scissor is very nice to have. To create a small edge on the part I made a very small cut into it, though you can hardly call it cutting. Next are the details on the ears. You can also make these out of 2mm EVA foam, but even better would be to make it out of 5mm EVA foam and dremeling them into shape. This can be pretty tough, so if you are not a Dremel master, master yet, I wouldn't recommend it. Also, make sure to make this piece a bit longer than the template so it will fit the mask. Since painting them will not be that hard, I glued them onto the mask right away. Now onto the last piece of foam we need to make, the thingies on the side of the mask. For this I used half a foam dowel. You could make it out of one piece, but I decided to make four loops and glue them together. After gluing everything together, you can flatten it with a heat gun and glue a round piece onto it. The foam build is done now, so let's start painting it. Painting this took way longer than I had planned. I always underestimate how long it takes to paint stuff. I started by adding two layers of flex bond to the mask and the details. After that I painted the base color onto it. Now the tricky part starts, some of the details you will have to paint on using the template as a reference. One side is fairly simple, but after that you have to mirror it to the other side. Making it perfectly mirrored is really hard and it takes a lot of practice. My details aren't perfect either, but it's close enough. Last we have to glue the details onto the mask and then we are done. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you will also make the mask. Next week I also want to make something related to Sparkle, so make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss that. And I will see you in the next one. See ya!